ba 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 It is Whitney's birthday. Welcome back to another episode, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful good day. <laughs> My little brother got sent home from school because of COVID. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Are you doing great? Are you doing swell? Are you doing fine? Today's Whitney's birthday, so let's go to try to see if we could possibly get something very good for her. And I think I know what it's going to be. I am going to give my queen, my beautiful, darling, wondrous queen, my muse, my deva, my divinity. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Ton of new words. Also, I spittled all over myself. I am going to be giving her a flower as a gift. Or, I guess it would, uh, ooh, hold on, let me fix it then. It, it should, wait, where's it at? Oh, there it is. Very brown, not used to it. Let's see, so I guess I'll do one of these. And then, because of that, I can wrap it, if I'm not mistaken. Boop, 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 boop. A gold flower, there we go, good shit. Also, gold buds, looking pretty snazzy. So today is Whitney's birthday. She's someone new to my wonderful island. Uh, she's the one. She's one of the few people that I wanted. I noticed that I wanted a lot of wolvies. Um, but hey, that's fine. Audie's next. If I can't find a code for Audie, then I guess that's our great search. That's what we're going to be doing a little bit later on. We have Anka and Whitney. If it isn't Luna, la, uh, live alive in person. This is going to be so much fun. Let's see. I love celebrating birthdays. Do you, Starlight? Everyone is just so happy. I admit, seeing Whitney enjoy her big day today makes me excited for my own birthday. <laughs> Anka is close, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the bulletin board, since she came so soon, uh, since she came like so close to her birthday in uh, my Animal Crossing game, the bulletin board did not tell me it was her birthday. Um, it just says, I think it's Anka's on the 22nd like that. If you don't know what to get someone for your birthday present, you could always rely on the classics. After all, it's thought that counts. And if it still just can't decide, get something they can use. Like a gun. Let's see. I do believe Whitney has been looking forward to getting a present from you. Boom, boom, boom. Whitney, birthday girl. When everyone gathers to celebrate my birthday like this, it makes me the happiest wolf in the world. And when some are even kind enough to bring me gifts, well, <laughs> hands out, gimme, gimme hands, it takes it to a whole new level. If I may be so bold, did you bring me a present? Gimme, 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 gimme. Here you go, ma'am. Got you something so you can kindly smile. What a lovely wrapping job you've done here. Now, what could be inside this gorgeous package? Wait, is this some sort of mistake? You've actually given to me some golden roses. Well, I don't know what I do to deserve it, but I can promise you that I'll cherish it forever. Thank you. I'm so pleased with the gift that you gave me. I, I just had to say thank you one more time. So thank you. Uh, I'm actually at the relationship level with Whitney since she's so new that I can't even give her gifts. Which is like the bare minimum, right? You have uh, you have situations where hold on, I have my armpit into my microphone, trying to plug in my phone so it could charge. Um, the one of the bare minimums you can do, uh, excuse me, some of the later stuff is when people start selling things to you, or wanting to buy stuff in your inventory. Um, let's see. Hello. I'm always a bit tickled to find out that I have the same birthday as a celebrity. And I can only imagine how they feel when they find out about me, Snappy. Girl, you're looking like a whole birthday cake. The years really do have a way of adding up, don't they, Starlight? Of course, I like to think that no matter how many you had, they always equal a more fabulous you. Birthdays bring us back such memories. I can still taste the cake that Mother used to bake me. I wish I could recreate the flavor, but I never, but it never comes out right, Starlight. That's true. There's these pancakes that my grandmother used to make that I can't recreate. They were super thin, super fluffy. They were easy to eat. It was like you could just put it in your mouth and swallow. Oh, my God. I don't know what she did. It's just so magical to have everyone here celebrating with me. How could I possibly express my gratitude? Oh, I know definitely how, what you can do. Oh, 
Thank you so much for stopping by. Mucho gracias. Love you. Lovey dovey. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, as you can tell by my opener, I'm pretty stressed out uh, about it. I, I just, it, it's something that I, I have fear that was gonna happen, right? And then it, and then it happened. And he got sent home because of it. So that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <sighs> just breathe in and breathe out and let it throw it away. But breathe in. So here's a fun thing. I don't know if anyone. Um, deals with situations like this. Uh, I know it was kind of mitigated when I had a job, uh, having these type of feelings. No, uh, having the, these type of struggles. I struggle with just like taking care of myself, like the basic necessities, um, like you know, eating or like sleeping correctly or bathing appropriately. Uh, you know, not waiting like a week to bathe or something like that or longer. Um, I know when I was in like my crushing mental mood because of a relationship, like I remember not bathing for like three weeks and it was during winter. So thank God, like my clothes didn't get disgusting from like sweat and shit like that. I was just like, my hair was just gross. I was like, thank fucking God. And I didn't get gross until like a week and a half into it where my hair started to get um greasy i was like oh god and that would just be a consistent thing where i was just like hey man it's just like a, a not even a long uh commitment to be able to do to take this shower right but i'm just kind of like oh fuck I uh, don't really want to do it, not sleeping, not eating, you know, just completely crashing, uh, crashing myself, uh, feeling exhausted 24-7 because I'm not sleeping correctly, feeling like shit because I'm not eating correctly, like, oh my god, I, I have issues like this continuously, all the time. They were kind of, they were kind of, you know, it's kind of interesting, um, they were... Most of the stuff was kind of mitigated when I had a job because I had to keep cleanliness, right? I could definitely say having a job was a good way of keeping cleanliness when it came to this. But boy, boy oh boy, uh, I guess like the the opposite of that would be like, oh, I don't shower for like two days. <laughs> and my job was strenuous. It wasn't like working in an oil mine wherever it is. It was food service. And if anyone's who've worked in food service, you know that you just continuously work. There's no break. Because you have people coming in constantly. Over and over and over. And you'd be like, oh, why, didn't you, why don't you just find a different job? All right, Karen. All right. Give me your fucking money right now. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it's just strenuous work in a hot kitchen, uh, working, lifting, throwing, trying to keep things stocked so my uh, manager doesn't yell at me or I get it like a fucking passive aggressive text and be like, hey, bud, the cinnamon toast swirls ended up running out. You should make double. I was like, well, how about you order more than one box? How about that, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. You know, the French toast swirls sell a lot. And yet you order one box, which has 120 individual donuts in it. And guess what? I make a dozen every day because I'm trying to stretch it out the whole fucking week. And I, it would literally be gone. It would literally be gone in fucking four days <laughs> if I just made the amount you wanted. Oh, uh, very upsetting. But man, I was. It's it's just sad. It's just I don't know. Uh, Another way uh, things would get mitigated from me being um, sad. Oh, little dumb bitch is sad, isn't he? Um, uh, where the, you know, not taking care of myself would go from is uh, is that I would just caffeinate, caffeinate myself to the point where, like, my kidneys hurt and, like, peeing just hurts. Like... <laughs> I would just caffeinate myself because I'm not getting enough sleep. Uh, I'm having nightmares about my job. You know, I'm eating like shit because of my job. 
right? And I was like, well, if I have pizza right here, well, if I have a donut right here, well, if I have, you know, oh, wow, look at that, nice. One of the donuts ended up breaking so I can eat it, you know? Instead of having, like, just moments like that, just kind of like shit, just feeling like shit and gaining weight and not taking care of myself. Um, you know, not sleeping, not really, do, like, and then just going home and immediately going to sleep and then wake up and be like, oh, I could have a couple hours to myself, and then I just go to sleep and then wake up, boom, it's job time. And then I just live that existence where I'm just like, oh, my every waking existence is doing this job. Like, just completely, like, my mental health just completely spiraled. It, it, it did a fucking spiral. Um, I fucking hated everything. I hated everyone. I felt so lonely. I felt like, you know, like, when I would talk to people, they just didn't care about it. And I was like, holy fuck. Um, I remember... I remember there was a time, it wasn't related to the working situation, but I remember it was during the time where I would just spiral into a depressive episode. Uh, I remember I was like, I was like, oh, uh, I remember something somewhere like my, um, like a girl I dated ended up explaining what self-care was to me, right? You know, you know, the sleeping, uh, not fucking purposely tanking your sleeping schedule, uh, taking moments to yourself, uh, not forcing yourself to do things, you know, you know, a whole bunch of, it, it, it's interesting, right? It, you know, it, it depends on who it is. It ranges from literally taking a shower after, uh, you know, <laughs> having, uh, after three weeks, which I think is pretty good because that's just pretty detrimental to your health, uh, after a while, uh, but, ugh, fuck. I remember I told someone that I was just trying to take care of myself, self-care, um, you know, trying to, like, get away from stuff and then trying to just, like, eat and trying to sleep better and take showers more often and I remember they told me straight to my face that's not self-care and I remember it killed the conversation and I felt so sad and I was like why are you so mean to me why is every time I'm just genuinely trying to be nice to you you're just fucking awful to me why is why does this happen why why are you this way should I just be awful to you because if I'm just awful to you it's just gonna explode and then, boom, we got victim complexes going everywhere. I don't know, man. Small cardboard boxes. But fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm kind of in that loop right now. I'm in the I'm in the weak loop, not taking care of myself. Just I, I'm trying to eat. I I don't feel hungry. I'm trying to eat. But hey, it wouldn't matter because, you know, I fucking, uh, you, you know, lose a couple pounds, uh, lose a couple mascarpone. It would help if I lost a couple pounds, right? Hey. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Hmm. So, I've just been. I've been in a daze. I've, been, I've, been, I've just been in, a, like, a not good mental place days. And I've been in that for about two, three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I, I knew, I knew, I knew something was wrong when I was just like, I don't give a fuck about D and D right now, right? Like the one of the things that I usually just get up and do uh, for pleasure. Like in that moment, I was like, I really don't give a fuck about D and D. Like my players don't care. Like. They, they can't tell if I put in maximum or minimum effort. They don't ask questions. They just listen to me talk and just play. They don't really give a fuck about the game. Like, who cares? And then I just kind of, like, go throughout, just go through the malaise. And I was just like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm having an episode. I'm having, like, a just a fucking, you know, the wonderful suicide season, I guess you could say. It is a good way. I was having very un, uh, unnice thoughts. I guess you can say. I was having a lot of bad thoughts. And, um... I was... I don't know, man. I was tanking. Like, everything was tanking. I was just overthinking absolutely everything. I was like, holy fuck, what is going on? Like, the only solace that I found in anything was, like, me, like... 
throwing myself into gotcha games. <laughs> that is about it. I started breaking out of it when I um, started playing this Kingdom Hearts game. I was just like, oh god. When I asked one of my D and D compatriots, I was like, "Teach me about the Kingdom Hearts game," and she was just like, "If you have any questions, I was like, no matter what," and I was like, uh, "I'll answer them for you, no matter what." And like when I had that moment where I had like someone like, "Yeah, I'll answer your breaking call uh, if you need help," like in that moment, I just felt happiness. So I was like, "I feel so good. I feel like." I feel like someone notices me, I feel like someone cares about me, I feel like, you know, and it's all it is, is like, hey bro, I'm gonna help you with your game. And that's all it really was. And then, and then and I just felt like, wow, I feel wanted, I don't feel like a piece of shit continuously all the time now. Isn't that wonderful? And then I, and then I felt happy, and I felt good, and I was playing the Kingdom Hearts game, and then, uh, it was fun. It was silly. It was the Kingdom Hearts Cross Union. I remember I tried playing it when it came out a long time ago, and things just kind of bleh. I didn't have the a big enough phone. It was during the time where I didn't have a big enough phone. I had one of those Walmart's prepaid phones with like two gigs. It was a smartphone, but not really a smartphone. Um, it was it was uh it was awful. I hated it. having a having a small phone, uh, having a phone with small storage, which sucks about like storage in like video games and stuff on the mobile app on mobile apps is the fact that ah, god is the fact that you could have an sd card in your phone right 14 15 16 gigs i have a 36 gig one um right and that's just if i ever want to use my phone for music uh if i ever want i was planning to use my phone for music at one point before i quit my job i was gonna get some uh uh, earphones to go into my ear, uh, not headphones, but like, you know, like the, uh, the Bluetooth earphones, 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 <laughs> and things just kind of bleh, just kind of bled out. I was like, Wart Jr., modeling clay, oh, oh, guess so, guess I got that. I think I need to set up a date with, uh, Melty to see if we could trade some, uh, DIYs. I'll message her right after... <laughs> Yeah. Right after this. But, um... I don't know, man. <clears throat> it's simple shit like that. I don't know. I feel like uh, nobody cares about me. <laughs> I feel like nobody cares about me. I feel like... I don't know. I, I just constantly feel that. Like, no one really gives a fuck. Or it's just... It's not nobody gives a fuck. It's just nobody wants to deal with you. And I'm just kind of... It's another one of these days. Back to the primordial soup. <laughs> oh, goodness gracias, people. It's just one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, man. There's this guy named Justin Long who makes YouTube videos that I really, really like. Um, he ended up bringing up a funny like altercation it was like Limp Biscuit fans versus Slipknot fans right and I, I just kind of remember seeing it way back when all the time um, I kind of listen to Limp Biscuits every once in a while I know my dad listened to him a lot hi hood toy torture what the fuck is is this the Kappa cap <gasps> I'm gonna reach into your ass and take your magical organ hell fucking yes you must be saying to yourself, Luna, what the fuck? It reach into my ass. Yes. Kappas have this ability. Uh, they want to eat your organ, right? And there's a special organ directly in your ass that only they can get into. If I'm not mistaken, in Sekiro, there's Kappas. And one of their, like, grab moves, they grab you, bend you over, and rip their hand into your ass. And rip out something, eat it, and then... Usually you'll die instantly. A vampire costume. Blah 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 blah. Golgory, 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 golgory. Oh yes, look at me, brown line glasses. Very cute, very crazy. Uh, I also been having crazy nightmares continuously. Um, you know, I usually try to deal with things uh, with humor, 
wherever it usually means. Usually a, a lot of things bother me. Um, yesterday's episode title. Uh, I, I just have, like, people who I've dated just stalking my life. And uh, it just fucking annoys the shit out of me. I, I don't know why. Just talk to me. Just talk to me if you want to talk to me. Talk to me if you want to reach out. Just talk to me. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. You know, and then I get to choose whether I want the conversation to go or not. And, by the way, it, I don't, it's usually most likely I don't want it. It's fucking annoying. It, it, it's, it's annoying. It, like, it gives me anxiety that I'm just being watched continuously. And I'm pretty much am. And they're just looking through, like, my Twitter feed, my Tumblr feed, you know, finding YouTube videos and listening to that, listen to it to see if I ever, like, mention them. It's just, like, it's fucking ridiculous. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I, I had a dream that I haven't I haven't dreamt of this person forever. And some it was like the first person I ever dated. She was like with a uh, with a crew of a bunch of bad dudes, right? I remember she would send guys who would come over and try to harass me and get into my house so they could beat my ass, right? And my family being so fucking paranoid, they're like, no one asks for Alex. No one asks for Luna. No one ever asks for him. No one comes to here like this. You could just leave, right? Just leave. Just leave. Go away. He doesn't live here. Right? We, like, my family's like that. We don't, we don't, we don't really give a fuck about anything. Nothing good ever happens from answering the door. We'll just say that. Nothing good ever happens to answer the door. You'll be like, well, what if your family and stuff comes over? Nothing good when family comes over either. Last time we had a, a family member come over, uh, like a cousin. I think they were second cousins. They stole our shit. Like, I was asleep. I woke up. I was like, time to mow the lawn. Where's my MP3 player? I put it in the glass mirror behind all this stuff. And they stole all our valuables. And then they pretended they didn't. And then they're like, oh, wow, look at that. It was breaking to begin with, but it was already breaking. But, you know, I loved my Zoom. It was very cool. I don't know, man. Don't trust nobody. Don't trust nobody. But yeah, I, I had a dream that she had people come over to beat my ass again. Like, I, I remember that. I remember having fear like that. It's just because I was... I told her straight up, I was like, you don't make me happy. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. And she took that as, like, a big crazy thing. And I didn't know how to, like, get away from her. So we just continued to date, right? And she would just fawn and fawn and fawn and fawn and fawn. And I would know, I had no idea what to do. I had absolutely no idea what to do. It came to the point where I was just like, well, if she's going to do this, then I might as well just fucking take advantage of it. I can't get away from her. She finds me in school. She finds me when I'm walking around town. She finds me when I'm doing X, Y, and Z. She's pretending to be people on my Facebook and MySpace. She's just like, she's doing all this stuff. Like, I'm just I, like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm just going to have to accept it. You know, she's already, she's already weird. She's already pulled out a knife on me. I'm like, I'm just going to accept it until she graduates and leaves me alone and thank god that worked holy fuck it was not cool and then i remember i told her i was like i'm i'm moving on from you when i became when i finally became like old enough to like say no to everything i was like i'm uh uh i was like i told her in person which never do never ever do anything in person Never do anything in person if it changes the dynamic of relationship. I know you could be like, oh, d d gonna have some respect for someone. No. If this person has shown crazy tendencies, don't do it. Don't do it fucking ever. Don't you ever fucking try to do it. It is bad feels. It's bad feels all around. A breaker. Oh, my fucking dreams. <laughs> and I remember, I recall, I recall... I ended up uh, saying that, hey, I want to stop what we're doing. We're not really dating. You're dating another person, right? You're not allowing me to see anyone else. Uh, I want this to end. 
I don't want, I don't want a life with you. And I don't want you in my life anymore. Uh, I'm moving on. And, uh, I'm dating someone else now. And then they went fucking mental. They went fucking mental. Oh my god. They were fucking mental, bruv. And then I had to go to court because we got into a fight. Fucking awful. Bad times, brother. Bad times. <laughs> Can you say that again, Luna? Blue Hayashi Shans. I don't know, man. Oh, I can't believe. Oh God, and I had like a dream about her. It was fucking awful. I hated it. It's like everything I feared. She would have people fucking like. Oh my God, it wasn't cool, man. It's just not cool. Everything's not daijoubu. Not daijoubu. I guess when you think about it, it was one of those relationships where it was just completely abusive on all sides. It's kind of like, you know, you hear stories. I hear stories of um, a lot, usually, with on, uh, on from the women's perspective, where they're trapped and they can't run away. And I, like, think about it, and I think about, like, what happened with my mom, you know, with the guys being... Uh, the money guys and her having no choice but to stay with them no matter how she they treated her you know like just kind of go with her mood whatnot you know like oh I made him mad today better just kind of stay away from him oh he wants me to be around him oh I guess I'm just gonna get some hands thrown on me today because he's just feeling bad and he's one of the, I'm one of the things he could um, put fucking relieve his stress on right that's kind of my perspective of it but i guess another perspective is is that you're just trapped in a fucking relationship where someone has ownership over you and you don't know how to get away from it and you try to get away from it and they always show up and they're always there and they always find out where you are and you're just like holy fuck fucking get out of my life get out of my life get out of my life god damn it I don't know, man. It's weird. But who knows? Who knows? I'm trying to be a little active Andy. Uh, you know? I'm trying to be a little active Andy, a little proactive Andy. Uh, and whatnot. Trying to get things not done, but just trying to like not stagnate and have some social interaction with the people that I have around me currently. You know, I, I pretty much ended up stopped talking to one of the person who quit D and D a long time ago. We just stopped talking, and I just I'm pretty sure it was awkward because she knows how much it meant to me, and then she was going through her own things. So it's just kind of like I'll just leave you alone and talk to you whenever you want to talk to me and that day never came so I was just like oh, let me reach out and I did and it was weird and um, it was just so weird so it was just alright more time for you and then <laughs> I reached out again and then I, I I don't know dude I'm weird like when it when it comes to talking to people sometimes I talk in, in a character right I go into weird characters I know, like, when I would ask to, like, spend time or hang out with her or do something with her um, over the internet, <laughs> I would I, I would pretend to be, like, um, like I'm writing from the army and this is going to be the last conversation I have. Like, you know, like, I do, like, these characters and, like, the one that I ended up messaging with was, uh, like, I think a couple days ago that I was in, I, I was, I was writing a letter to see how they were, uh, as I was being tossed and battered by the sea, 
It's weird, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird and silly. But it's something that I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah. I can do weird stuff like that with them because, I don't know, dude. It seems like, uh, it seems like they don't mind. It seems like they kind of dig it. And kind of, kind of funny though. Kind of funny. I don't know. It's gonna blow up in my face. I know it. I don't know. I feel like the way I wrote it, I was just like, she's not gonna talk to me again. <laughs> she's not gonna talk to me again. And then I watched her come online, and then I, I'm assuming read it, and then go offline, and then come online again, probably the go write something and then just go offline again i was just like oh no what i wrote fucked and sucked i was like i started reading it i was like does it like is this bad am i overthinking it i was just like oh god fucking kill me i was like I, I this is gonna blow up in my face isn't it i feel like it is I don't know why. It doesn't seem bad. It's just it's just me saying that I miss hanging out and talking with them. And then I don't know, dude. Fuck this gay earth. I hate relationships with people. How about that, huh? Specifically women. Bum 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 Hey there cutie, you're fucking cute. Let's see here. Sell all dish fruit. I sell all dish fruit. Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up, bitch. Wrap it up. That's right. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Oh god. Oh. Kill yourself. Oh, you're working today. Look at you. You're like, hello, Kent. Would you like a frappe or a carbonated beverage? Um, you know, your face is all fucked up, right? I got some medicine if you want. Thanks, Frida. I love it. I got some fruit for you. You know, you eat hamburgers all the time. Um... Oh, yes, tell me a backstory about your mother. Weirdly enough, I've heard that from 12 other people. Um, da -da -da. here you go, Frida, my wonderful cutie. This is so awesome. What's in here? Oh, my God. There's nothing tastier than some oranges. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, I could eat these for days. Well, you can only eat, like, maybe two sessions of it. Maybe you could eat two in one sitting, but I don't know. When I eat one, I don't want to eat another one. Uh, while we're at it, here's something I got for you. An oil skin coat? What is this? I can get dressed in here, right? <gasps> Very cool! Very pretty, not gonna lie. And it fits perfectly with the rain. <gasps> Oh, Frida, my darling Frida, we're open for business, people. Let's see. And then let us put on a. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yes. I am Kappa. Hello, how are you? <laughs> we're done for today, everyone. My, my emotional drama section is over. Have a wonderful day. Love you.